Hi, my friends from TechCetera.com. I'm here with a very special friend. He's John, and he's going to introduce himself. Hi, I'm uh, I'm Jon. Great to be here. Um, I'm uh, yeah, Jon von Tetzner. I'm born in Iceland. Um, half Norwegian, half Icelandic. I've been doing browsers since 1994, and now I'm doing Vivaldi. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the, sto the story behind Vivaldi. How did it begin and things like that? Well, in some ways you can trace it back to my last uh, browsing company, which I was doing since 1994, which is Opera. After I quit Opera, I was thinking, okay, I don't need to do browsers anymore. Or actually, I was, <laughs> it is the wrong word, um, because I loved doing what I was doing, but I was thinking, okay, now I'm going to be doing something different and I'll continue to use Opera for all time. Um, and then there was a change and the feeling was that Opera was no longer the browser that I could use. So if no one is building a browser that I can use, no one is building a browser for my friends, I'll build it myself. <laughs> my friends, obviously. Okay, and how did it change? Because I have seen that this is not the first release of Vivaldi. Well, I mean, um, we've been working on Vivaldi, obviously, for quite some time. We started working on it as, as long back as uh, 2013. That's when we were thinking about, okay, how do we build a browser? How do we make something that's different? And, and the goal here is to build a browser that is um, personal, right? Um, the feeling is that all the other browsers, they're, they're very much um, optimized for some person that doesn't exist. <laughs> they assume that we all want the same thing, and they they use statistics to find out what people use and what they don't use. But we are not numbers. We're not statistics. We are individuals. We have individual requirements, and our goal and our approach is to look at every individual person and try to optimize for your use. Uh, so we put in a lot of options, a lot of different ways to customize the browser, and after a while of playing with it, the idea is that once you play with a browser, you feel, okay, this is really as if it was programmed with me in mind. And that's what we're going for, for every single user, that you, when you start playing with a browser, you, you start using the different features. You find it, it's feeling like it's second nature. Okay, I think that it's really light, it, uh, so it loads pages really fast. It, it, it's light and it's fast. But the primary purpose, though, has really been about to make uh, uh, things efficient for you. So this is about dealing with a lot of web pages, with the tab handling. This is about being able to use keyboard shortcuts, if you like. And it's about the color. I mean, again, all the other browsers are gray. Why should browsers be gray? Why cannot they be colorful? And, and with Vivaldi, you have a colorful browser. You have a nice design. I think a lot of people just like that we have a different approach to things and are more flexible. So the color depends on the contents that you're browsing or how does it work? Yes, it, it actually it looks at uh, the page or, or the page icons and, and it will try to find a, a suitable color for that page that you're visiting. Okay, and um, I have been thinking about this, but how you you get to monetize this? How you get money to sustain the platform? Well, the way it works, and it, it's in, in a way the same for all browsers. It, it, it's it's about uh, revenue from things like search. So we put up a search uh, in, in the browser, and if you use that, uh, then we make some revenue through that. It's a lot, not a lot of money. Um, we're talking about at Opera, we were making about a dollar per user per year. So it's, it's a scale issue, uh, it's a scale focus. We just need a lot of users and then we make a little bit of money per each user and then it scales beautifully. So how many users do you have right now? We, we are well on our way towards the first million. We are closing in on one million active users on a monthly basis. Mm, sounds good. Uh, tell, tell us a little bit uh, about the other features like the notes. How are you supposed to use it and things like that? Well, I mean, in, in some ways, it's about how you want to use it. But the idea there is, okay, you select a piece of text on a page, and then you say, add that to note. That adds the text and a link to that page, and it also now adds um, a screenshot. 
So this is a typical example. You're working on some document that you're maybe you're doing, going to do a presentation and you want to use quotes in your document. You want to make sure that the quotes are correct. So you take the quote, you take the page and a link to it, and, and you take a screenshot as well. You can also write other notes um, just for to, to later look at them. But, but this is where utilizing the fact that it's in a browser uh, you, you can do things in a way that is, is unique, right? So from that perspective, in particular, this fact that you can that you can find way back to that where you found that code, which you're using in your research paper or your as a journalist, uh, you, you've been checking things, and sometimes maybe the code that you quoted has changed, and it's kind of nice to have the screenshot as well. Okay, and then what's the main reason for a user? to use Vivaldi instead of the others that are right now in the market? Well, I think, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of reasons, but it really is about being personal. Because we, we see our users, as I said, it's, it's not a question of numbers, it's a question of individuals. And we believe that we ad should adapt to you. And what we are finding is that this is something that people like. They, they like to be treated as individuals, they like to be listened to, and they like the fact that they can tailor their browser to their needs. So I think if you start to play with Vivaldi initially, you'll find, okay, this is, this is nice. It's more colorful. You can see that it has certain features that other browsers don't have. But after a while, this feeling that it's as if it was made for you, that's kind of what we're going for. And uh, that's what we're seeing people are finding as well. They're liking the browser in this way. And uh, so it's not about a single feature. There's a lot of them. I could spend hours talking about <laughs> all the features that we have, but it's really about finding a browser. I mean, we, we spend a lot of time online, right? Really a lot of time online. So having a browser that actually works with you instead of against you when you're trying to get things done is, is, is a good thing. Okay, and is it available in all platforms? Yeah, I mean, all, all PC platforms at this time. So you can use Windows, Mac, Linux. Uh, mobile version will be coming later. Um, as, as soon as possible, but it's going to take a bit of time. Okay, last question. What can we expect about Vivaldi in the nearest future? Well, we will continue to develop the browser. I mean, we will continue to stretch what you can expect from a browser. I mean, there are certain things that we promise will be coming, things like a mail client, uh, things like obviously the mobile version, but, but also just a lot of other things that you've not seen in any browser anywhere. Uh, and part of this is, again, listening to what you want. That's really a part of this. And you see the community and how we work with the community very closely, get the feedback and build what people want to see. But also just us trying to think, okay, what would be cool to add? What do we think would be useful for people? And then we add it and we see if people like it. And uh, a lot of the cases they do. Okay, that, that sounds really nice. Thank you for, all, for your time and for sharing this with us. Thank you.